It's early morning as the sun rises over Lake Winnipegosis. The sweet smell of the spruce and aspen trees welcome the beginning of another day. A fishing boat makes for an early start as it heads out onto the lake. Bordering the lake is the town of Winnipegosis. Situated on the south shore, the unhurried pace has become a popular retreat for campers, travelers, and explorers alike. Winnipegosis is a rural community that has managed well to survive the migration to the city that so many communities have seen. Instead, we have managed to build on our strengths, ensuring our community the stability and the resources needed as we move towards the new millennium. This has always been a community of great character and diversity, settled by pioneers from many different nationalities and backgrounds. This Winnipegosis area was once nothing but wilderness, but it was wet, very rich fur-bearing country. Then a Frenchman by the name of Joseph Octave Grenon came from Detroit. He was attracted by the stories of large quantities of fish in Lake Winnipegosis, and he built a nice house and he started a fishing business. That was in 1895. He was followed closely by a lumberman from the Lake Manitoba area, Westburn, uh, by the name of Peter MacArthur, who came and built a sawmill and a planing mill at the mouth of the Moss River. And the arrival of the Canadian Northern Railway Line in 1897 made transportation of the fish and the lumber to outside markets possible. The fishing industry brought in uh, a lot of Icelandic people, some of them even from Iceland, uh, many from the Lake Manitoba area, from the Lake Winnipeg area, and from North and South Dakota. They were, most of them, used to deep sea fishing, the ones that came from Iceland. Um, the lumber business brought men from Ontario, uh, mill hands, uh, axe men, millwrights, some of them even from the New Brunswick area. People of all nationalities, mainly British in origin, uh, many Scandinavian. Then in 1898, the Ukrainians arrived, attracted by the promise of uh, 160 acres of land for only $10. They came in large groups and soon established themselves uh, in agriculture. So the, the settlement was made up of people of all nationalities, and Winnipegosis has remained a multicultural society, uh, all living together very peacefully. Our community is one of character and a future. It has much to offer. For our residents, the town has sustained a nucleus of essential services. The Winnipegosis General Hospital borders the quiet, flowing Mossy River. This is a modern 18-bed primary care facility providing medical treatment including emergency medical services. Adjoining the hospital is a 20-bed personal care home offering long-term care to our more needy elderly residents. For the children of the Winnipegosis area, there are two modern schools, the Winnipegosis Elementary School and the Winnipegosis Collegiate, both offering a sound traditional education. With the move into modern technology, distance learning and even early university courses will also be a part of our future here. When it comes to our everyday needs, a variety of businesses service the community and surrounding areas. Modern stores and retail outlets provide for all of our essential needs, with the larger shopping center of Dauphin only a half hour's drive away. Winnipegosis is a population of around 750 residents and is located about 25 miles north of the town of Dauphin. From our fishing and lumber beginnings, the town now supports a wider variance of businesses and serves a far larger area than in the past. There are many attributes that have attracted people to move here. The reasonable property prices, the location on the shores of the lake and the river, and the hunting, fishing, and rural life that the town and the area offers. Winnipegosis has also become a popular escape from a hurried city life. There's a friendliness in our town that goes back to the times of the pioneers. Neighbors have time to stop and chat, while the relative safety of our small town has made Winnipegosis a popular home for a growing retirement population and their productive gardens. We are proud of what we have achieved here, sustaining our community needs and at the same time ensuring that the character of our town remains. Now is the time for us to build and to offer to others some of those benefits of our community.
situated on the shore of Lake Winnipegosis, allows many new and exciting opportunities for incoming business interests. Future opportunities for small business come from the traditional level that we associate with our everyday needs to the challenges of a new direction as a recreational service town. These opportunities are as real as one's imagination allows, and it's these opportunities and our rural lifestyle that has attracted people from many different areas. Flo and myself, we spent uh, 15 years in Vancouver. We pursuing careers, uh, enjoying the urban life, enjoying every part of what Vancouver has to offer. But we decided to move to a, to a place that, to us, affords us a lot more uh, personal and physical freedom. Uh, the, the, the nature here is absolutely incredible. The deer hunting, the fishing, the, uh, it just goes on and on. It's endless. The Mossy River makes an ideal day's canoe ride from the community of Fork River. This is peaceful countryside, offering the chance to pass through nature's world and experience the closeness of river life. Bird watchers come from around the world to see the many different species of lake and shore birds that migrate north for their summer nesting season. For the wildlife enthusiast, an evening watching a beaver as he prepares for the next winter season, or an osprey as it guards over its nest. The River Mossy, as it nears the end of its journey, opens up into the vast body of the lake. A small group of commercial fishing boats still operate from the river, and in the quiet season, these boats have become part of the local tourism, offering tours of the lake and its many wildlife islands. Harvey Brown, a lifetime fisherman on this lake, now enjoys sharing the sights of the lake and its islands with the many visitors who travel here. Yeah, there's a lot of islands on the, on the lake with birds on. You know, there's they're close to Winnipegosis, some of them, and some of them are a little further, but there's great colonies of different birds. There's a white pelican, cormorant, uh, heron gulls, Caspian terns, and common terns, and nightcap herrings, and a bald eagle, ostrich, and great blue herrings. There's so many, so many of them, especially in the early part of June, you'll see even see some of the northern birds that they feed here and then they nest up in the Arctic. Later in the fall, you'll, you'll see them, they just, uh, the ducks and the geese, the snow geese and the Canada geese. There's lots, you know, a lot of those around in the, in the fall. The chance to see the many wildlife experiences on the lake and its islands has made our town an ideal access for these adventures. A quiet campground only a short distance from the beach offers a relaxing and enjoyable spot for campers from all across North America. For the smaller folk, the beach has become a favorite spot. Our annual family day in July brings together our neighbors and friends alike to enjoy the spirit of our community. On the south side of the town, a challenging nine-hole golf course is well cared for throughout the summer season. And down on the river, everyone is welcome to enjoy an afternoon's fishing. As the summer progresses into the early fall and then the winter months, the activities of the area change, 
but the focus remains on the many outdoor opportunities available in our area. The Winnipegosis region is well known for its varied hunting opportunities. In the fall, the lake and the surrounding stubble fields become a resting area for thousands of geese and ducks as they migrate south for the winter months. Over the years, a faithful clientele have traveled to Winnipegosis to participate in the many different hunting opportunities. The hospitality and wildlife experiences have encouraged many of these hunters to make this journey an annual event. I've uh, uh, come to Winnipegosis for the past 14 years or so, and I'm now bringing my uh, son-in-law and uh, a whole bunch of grandchildren to come and enjoy this part of the God's real world where the ducks and geese are fantastic, and there are a few grouse. So we've just had a magnificent time. We've been uh, shooting these birds with uh, John Procesian and Rial, and uh, they're wonderful people here. We just enjoy coming each year, and we look forward to this, and we're looking forward to it in the future. By November, the snow has usually arrived. Winter is here, and our lives shift down a gear. For the local fishermen, with their boats landed for the winter months, they now turn to their snowmobiles for their trips to the lake. The use of nets under the lake ice is a part of the tradition of the commercial winter fishing on the lake. For others, their interests keep them inside. The curlers of the area are planning for their winter games and the bond spiels that highlight the months of the new year. The ice in the arena is ready for both skaters and hockey players alike. The first of the winter's snowmobile rallies bring together many of the snowmobile enthusiasts. Whether you drive the newest and the fastest or just a machine that works, it's a time for all to exchange stories and have a good time. The small town of Winnipegosis has much to offer. Our location on the south shore of the lake creates a diverse and unique opportunity, offering a home for both business entrepreneurs and the retired. Our essential services are in place with a modern hospital, a personal care home and a comprehensive school system. Our business facilities cover a wide base, from a modern and complete motel facility to a complete range of stores covering many of our daily needs. So, you're considering a change in your lifestyle, perhaps running a small business or even searching for a town to spend your retirement years. You should take the time to visit us in Winnipegosis. <laughs>